Now that your game is feature complete, it's time to export it so that you can share it with the world. Click on the project menu and choose Export. This will open the Export dialog, where you can choose from a number of presets. Click the Add button and choose Windows Desktop. You'll likely receive a warning at the bottom of the dialog now, telling you that no export template has been found. Don't worry, click the Manage Export Templates link and then click the Download and Install button. This will begin downloading the appropriate export template. It's quite big, so it may take a few minutes to complete. Once the template has finished downloading and installing, click Close and then reopen the Project Export dialog. Scroll down in the Options and untick the Modify Resources checkbox. In order for Godot to be able to change the icon and other details of the executable, you'll need to download an extra tool called RC Edit. You can find a link to this in the Godot documentation, but for now, we'll leave this unchecked. You can now click the Export Project button, choose a location for your exported game executable, and click Save. Let's test it out by running the executable and seeing our full game in action. Congratulations! You've successfully built and exported your first game in the Godot 4 game engine. Amazing work! But wait, why stop here? There are so many ways you can build upon the knowledge you've gained through this course and expand upon the game you've created. Why not challenge yourself to add a new feature to the game? If you're struggling for ideas, here's a few to get those creative juices flowing. How about slowly increasing the speed of the game as time progresses, making it increasingly difficult for the player to stay alive? Or what about adding a new enemy type, maybe one that flies and shoots projectiles back at the player? Or perhaps you could create a whole host of different level designs that the player can progress through as they earn enough points to unlock them. The possibilities are endless, so I challenge you to think of something new to add to Raptor Run, and then upload it to the Quiver platform and let us know. We can't wait to see what you come up with. I really hope you found this course useful. If you have any questions, comments or ideas for how we can improve existing and future courses, please do get in touch and let us know. We love hearing your feedback. With that said, good luck on your game development journey with Godot, and I'll see you next time.